Hey guys, it's Banda. Welcome to Pokemon. Nah. Nah. Hey guys, it's Banda. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, and the last few parts, we headed all the way down Route 12, 13, 14, and 15. And this part, we're finally gonna go down Cycling Road. Um. Now, down Cycling Road. Oh, yeah, there's one problem. There's a sleeping Pokemon in the way. Yeah. There's two Snorlaxes you can get in the game, so I can put the Poke Float away after this. I can't chuck away key items, and that's kind of annoying. So anyway, so the Snorlax is going to attack us, as always. Snorlax! Uh, so yeah, so, if you caught the first one, if you really want a second one, sure, but I'm actually just going to fight it. Because to be honest, I don't know... I don't know if running away actually works. It might. I think it moves away if you run away. Oh my gosh, it's got a lot of health, let me tell you that. Let me tell you tell the hell god's got a lot of health. At least I'm faster than it, so I can just clamp it to death, but My goodness, if you didn't have if you didn't have a good attack to take it out, this might take a few years. Also, I, I, just before I head down the cycling road, I realized I needed to buy something at the um, department store, so I might just head back and do that. <laughs> well, then that, just take out the Snorlax and you should be alright. I want to see if you went here first, in which case, catch it, and then take out that one. But... Take out the other one. Oh, there you go. With a big yawn, it returns to the mountains. So anyway, I'm going I'm to head over. Uh, if you didn't get Fly, by the way, go get it. It's up that cut thing. Seriously, Fly is one of the most useful things ever. Uh, so who's the one that sells the stones? Not these two guys, I know that. So this dude? TV game shop? Nope, because it's TVs. I feel like that's a bad translation, because it should be video game rather than TV game. This guy sells the stones. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna buy a water stone. No, just in case. Just in case. Now, all of you guys basically know what I'm doing. I'm I'm holding on to the water stone because when because when uh, Shelda reaches level 30, he will learn a really good move, and that basically means I can evolve him because there's no point in waiting. Uh, other than that, let's keep on going. Now we're gonna head to the cycling road now. So this dude's just like cycling road is a downhill course by the sea. It's a great ride. You have to make sure you've got your bike in your inventory, otherwise you won't be let past. We're going riding together. I'm going for a ride with my girlfriend. Okay, sure. By the way, one thing is that you can look in these binoculars and you can see stuff. I don't think I pointed that out, but yeah. Sometimes you can actually see wild Pokemon with that. Anyway, yeah, you're immediately riding. And there's people. What do you want? And yes, there's a lot of trainers. I would like to head down the Future City right uh, in this part. Just get some of that stuff out of the way, but I don't know if I can do that in this part. You missed, Clam Clam! I'm not very good at this, seriously. Granted, it's only got 75% accuracy, so generally it seems to hit a lot in strings. And I, uh, the continuation always works, so... See, the thing is that you even get a choice to ignore it. That's the best part about it. Although Clamp, while it is stronger than Bind, it does less damage. Uh, it's got less PP, so it's not entirely the best. Plus, I really want Clamp Clamp to evolve, uh, to level up. I can evolve him right now, but... Yep, see, look, you missed! Now you got no Clamps! I could have gone poison for all I know. Also, Grabo is the same level, so. Yeah. Remember when I said this, like, oh my god, she's level 15, I can't do anything. Uh, but. Uh, Grabo's okay. Vice Grip. Smog. Seismic Toss. Seismic Toss is always a good move. 
I love how it's been several parts since I've used Venusaur, and yet Venusaur is still stronger than every single other Pokemon I've got. By the way, if you're wondering why I didn't teach Fly to Ducks, it's because Ducks can't fly. Not, not as in D-U-C-K-S, but... As in... Farfetch cannot fly. It's kinda silly. Nice bike, Canada! What? You've already got one! Here's a new enemy, the cube ball. I don't even know. I really don't know. I don't have any clamps, so I'm just gonna attack one. Take that! My physical defense is way good! Oh, nope, it's not good enough. Grabo, please, take him out. Uh. It's got my chop, so at least that's different. Ah, crit. Actually, the, the cue balls will have a fighting type Pokemon, which is a bit of an interesting choice. Uh, of course, you still gotta deal with the coughings and stuff from the bikers. I think it's annoying. Mankey. Mankey. Pokey said no. I'm so tired, I don't know why. There you go, take him out. Take him out. Well, I should really I should really switch to uh, Clam Clam, because I need Clam Clam to evolve. I need him to get this one move. That's 575. He's close. Might take another battle though. Oh no, he chops me. Quick. Rip him. Yeah, ooh, this, this may end up bad. He's vice grip again. Doesn't kill him. Uh, no, I'm, I'm okay. So yeah, I had 500 something, so 264, and that's about 300 experience left. Knocked out! Look at this item over here. I kid, there are no items in this very top part. There's a lot of trainers just sitting here at the very top of the cycle road. There's no wild Pokemon, by the way, so it's okay. I'm oh, sorry, there are wild Pokemon, they're in the, um, the grass. Uh, that, that was like way back. Anki, uh, I still can't clamp him, so yeah. I expected the clamp to just like undo itself, just so I was just like, oh. Speed V! By the way, I have no clue why I still have ducks on my team. Uh, switch back to Clam Clam, because Clam Clam's gonna level up after this. And that's gonna be awesome, because then I can evolve them. There you go! You finally did it, Clam Clam! You, you stuck to it, and you managed to level up five, 15 times in the past five parts, somehow. I don't know how he did that, but okay, sure. Granted, I think those parts were pretty long, so I'll give them Thunder Shock! Because it should level up with this. There you go, there's a clam clam. Aurora Beam! Oh my, yeah, you're just like, whoa, snap, Aurora Beam. Uh. Supersonic, I'm not gonna need that. I would actually prefer Withdraw, because especially with my tank defense, Withdraw is one of the best things you can just use. You little rat! So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna head in back inside, because... In fact, I'll do this right now. Item! Uh, Waterstone. It's a cloister! It's like an oyster, but it's not. Evolved from a clam into an oyster. I don't know how that happened, so. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna heal up and I'll be right back. See so you get in. You know what I just realized? 
I just realized Clam Clam's defense is 119. I know he's not the best attacker, but oh my gosh, that defense. Also, his attacker is greater than the special, so I don't know. You look at Gravo, he's only got 86 attack. You look at Moopy. He's a bit Moopy. Uh, although Snooze has got some pretty good HP, so I don't know. And uh, of course, he got Speed V. So, yeah, so the only thing that hasn't happened is that uh, Dragonair hasn't evolved into Dragonite. So, yeah. We'll just head right back to that cycling world. Okay, let's keep fighting. Hungry and mean. I don't know why I still got, um. Uh, why I still got, uh, Clam Clam up from. Take out this Machop. Okay, you ready for this? Are you ready? Aurora Beam! I didn't say he was a, he was a good attacker, I just said he's good at defending. <laughs> didn't really get to show that, but okay. <laughs> His health is a little bit low, though. You know, it's only 73 for level 30. Everything else is a lot higher health than that, except for Birdo, but Birdo doesn't count. Birdo, you don't count. Um, but that being said, his defense backs it up. You just bumped me. Boho, I bumped him. Okay, oh, he's only got one Pokemon as well. It's a Weezing. Too bad I've got Ice-type attacks, which is special, I think. I think they're special, I don't know. Oh, except he's not gonna hit me with a physical attack either, so... Also, a Roar Beam can reduce... Well, there you go. This guy is three levels higher than me, I just lowered his attack, and he did four damage. Now he's gonna poison me. Oh no, I'm good. Keep, keep Aurora Beam. Because Aurora Beam is awesome. You get a lot of experience once you start fighting, like, really strong Pokemon. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna want, uh... Grabo to start being up front, just because I need him to level up a bit. Rupee still is a bit weak, so I'm gonna try and level him up as a bit too. But, other than that... Other than that, I would like Moopy to level up, just because he is the weaker one, and also he still is yet to evolve, so... Four Grimers. Four Grimers. Do, do you see this? We gotta deal with four Grimers. Oh no, I needed that. Okay. I'm gonna need Gravit to level up. Oh, well, level 30, that's okay. And he loves Guillotine. Oh, we get to see that in action. Now, unfortunately, these are all level 26 Grimers. So, Guillotine's not gonna actually look that great. Also, it only hits 30% of the time. Which means out of your 5 attacks, also. Thank you. Uh, out of your 5 attacks? It's most likely gonna work once. And that's the worst part. It's a one hit kill, though. So, get some elixirs for it, because you're going to need that. Oh my gosh, Grimer. So yeah. Now, I could technically grind for Pokemon, and then get the experience all. Except, I don't know. I don't know, because to be honest, I'm pretty high leveled already. All of my Pokemon are now sitting well neatly-ish above level 30. Except for Bubba, but we'll bring him in when, he, when we need to. When we need to, okay? So I think that was the last dude up the top here, but... Now, the most annoying part about the cycling road, there's five items and they're all hidden. Also, by the way, as soon as you start going down here, you immediately get forced downward. You can't actually stop. Well, you can kind of head up. And also, if you hit A every so often, you kind of stop for some reason. I'm not too sure why.
But yeah, not only do you have to deal with battles, but you also have to deal with things like wheezing. Oh, that would be nice if that worked. Don't poison me, please. Good. Okay. Yes! That's guillotine. It defeats it, no matter what. It's glorious. Seriously, if you can pull off a guillotine, there's, there's no way you can actually up the chance, so... But, you know, use your PP ups on it, because... Seriously, if you use your PP ups, so you offer it to 8 attacks instead of 5, then, you know, you might get 2 hits, maybe. And, of course, I'm poisoned. Of course. Why wouldn't I be? We're just like in the middle of like nowhere and keep getting poisoned. Uh, uh yeah, I'll, I'll save you. Crashy. Use Moopy. We use a guy who only has physical attacks to take out this dude. Slam is a good attack, though. Ah. Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> this is why Moopy needs to level up. Uh, Clam Clam, you'll help. Clam Clam. Okay, this Weezing has just poisoned three Pokemon in three turns. Seriously, that's a, that's a new record or something. That's why I kind of get annoyed with the, with these dudes. It just happens so often, you know. Crash and burn. So you use these guys as as ways to stop. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna heal and I'll be right back. Okay. Alright, let's, let's do this. So anyway, I think there's an item somewhere in there. Oh, duo. Uh, by the way, there is a um, there is a five percent chance to actually get Fero here if you. I haven't caught a Fero, it's a bit of a strange place to get one, but okay. Like, I don't know. Your choice to get a Fero. I want to pick up the item. Oh no, he's got him a chop. Quick! Send out a Grapper. I really should have sent out Moopy. Ice Grapper. Poor Moopy. Sorry about that, yeah. Uh, I shall change to... I got a mouse on the screen. I shall change to... Moopy. It's a Machoke. Have you seen the Machoke? I think we have. Okay, come on, Moopy, you can slam him. Oh, he's staring you down, but you can hit him in the hit him in the face. Oh, he's staring you down. You can hit him one more. Yay! Yay for Moopy. Seriously, I need Moopy up front. <laughs> so if you hold A. Then you will go slower, or B for that matter, you will go slower in... You, you won't automatically fall down, however, and you can move around kind of freely, but if you point downwards, you go regular bike speed, where if you try to go sideways, you just go walking speed. I really should have switched to Moopy. There is money in fighting kids. I make a living off of it. Um, ice cream. Yeah. Oh 
no, my defense, I needed it. There we go. Primeape. Uh, yeah, Mookie can totally do that. Uh, we'll slam him. Good on your movie, of course, pointless crit. Because why wouldn't it be a pointless crit? Burned out, yo. Okay, Pokemon. Loopy, switch, grabbo. Now, there is a Pokeball somewhere in here. This guy could be standing on that. That'd actually be pretty annoying. There it is. There's a red candy, just there. Yeah. How I would have needed that a while ago. So yeah, so Spiros, yep. They, uh... Uh, the... The brand, the, the road does kind of split up a bit. Other than that... I guess there's a few trainers, but... Fuck. Moopy, you can slam him. You can slam that ball of goop. Okay, you might not be able to do that. Or you can just disable my slam. In that case, I will wrap you. Just keep wrapping. That's how you do it. Keep rapping. It's the only way. It's the only way you can win. Keep going. Keep going. You can do it. You can do it, Loopy. Yeah. Yeah, Loopy. Oh my god, it's just really strange battles. Smoked. Now, there is an item somewhere in here. But I have absolutely no clue where. There's also signs. It says watch out for discarded items. But where? Like, legit, where? Says, I, I've written down, and Bulbapedia says, on the center bridge segment, a bit below its north entrance. This is a bit of a long road, so... Like, it's kind of long. Oh my gosh, line items. Same type and level. This is the only slope in the game, if you're wondering. It doesn't look any different to the rest of the game. If it was a slope, you'd... It's kind of weird why there's water, but okay. Eh. I didn't find it a bit north of its entrance. Or a bit below its north entrance. You can't actually ride up the hill, but it's slow. Okay. Oh, there it is. Just takes a while to find, you know? Now, there are quite a few trainers still left on this route, so we're gonna get this guy right down here. I can do it. 
He needed low exercise anyway. He's a cue ball. He has manky. Crap it. I really could have slammed it, but nope. Gotta wrap it. So yeah, so there's not a lot of trainers on the cycling world in comparison. There's about 15 or so. I think I guess said 10 earlier, but there's more 15. There's quite a few at the top, but you know when you, but like when you compare it to that route, this is that's such a long route. Or well, more so, there's four long routes. This is kind of three of them, and one of them is really short. Two of them are actually kind of short. Oh, that that's just disappointing right there. Okay, I'm actually gonna switch out to Speed Beat. Get him Speed Beat. Oh, Speed Beat. Tackle. Because Tackle is clearly the best attack. Uh, what is he about to use? Machoke. Uh, I'm okay actually with Speed Beat. Because I can Thunder Shock him. Oh no, he's staring me down. Quick. Thunder Shock him again. Yeah. Uh, Machop. Uh, Rabo can do it. Go, Grabo. Yeah. Use your guillotine. Always. I tried. Use it again. It's disappointing how it doesn't always work. There you go. <laughs> Third time's a trap. It wasn't even like worth it, I could've killed him in one go anyway. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head north. The slow way. Actually, yeah, Moopy's a bit low level, so, or low health, so I'm gonna switch to Clam Clam. You know, actually. I'm gonna use my Rare Candy on Moopy anyway. Cause Moopy needs, Moopy's the weakest one. That I've got. Pretty much everything else is fully evolved, so it's pretty strong, and they've mostly got all of the moves they need. Pence is pretty good. Speed V's pretty good. Clam Clam's pretty good. Venus was kinda good. And yeah, that's about it. Snorlax is pretty good. Snorlax is good at the start. Clam Clam. Roar Beam. Oh no, my spet my defense. I needed it. Oh no, it was a crit. What a shame. Oh no, he's gonna use another Voltorb, quick. Use Moopy? I wanna see if Moopy can actually take it out. Unless he's gonna self-destruct, which he probably will. You got this Moopy. Ding dings, oh, they're everywhere. It keeps dinging. Oh, there you go, there's a self destruct. Goodbye, Moopy. Well, it's worth a try. Grounded out, okay, sure. Uh, so I'm gonna heal up, I'll be right back. Down the hill. So anyway, there's another trainer on the side here. There he is. Why aren't they evolved? Oh, I don't know. By the way, there's only one more trainer after this guy on this route. And then there's three at the bottom, I think. So, you know, it's not going to take that long. To be honest, I am dragging these parts out a bit long. So hopefully, once we actually start doing stuff, because... Seriously, after this, all you got is swimmers. We don't need to clear those guys out until a fair bit later. 
That guy did no damage. That guy did no damage. My goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna switch Clam Clam with uh, Moopy. Moopy. Uh, so let's see, what else? Oh, there's another trainer. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting another one. Okay, so two trainers. Oh no, he's got a primate. It's level 29, oh no! This is what I mean about like, you know, they were all higher level than the guys at the beginning of that group, but they never got any, these guys never get any stronger. Karate chop! Whoa, crits. Everywhere. Everyone gets crits. Seriously, crits are everywhere in this game. It's ridiculous. Like, that's a crit. And I don't get any. I don't get any crits. He gets all the crits, I don't. And of course, I miss. And then he focuses his energy so he can use Leo. He's a smart. I was about to use the choke. Uh, I've got this. Hope he's got this. Wrap him up. Keep wrapping. Keep wrapping. Come on, Moopy, you got this. You got this, Moopy. I love how this is how this is like one of the most hated things about Brock's Onyx because it keeps using Bind and it's such high level. It's it's level 14. It's ridiculously high for that point of the game, so he's gonna go faster than you. And here I am just using it as a general tactic. Yeah, Moopy. So anyway, I think if we go down here, then we're at the bottom, sweet. Now, now I'm going to have to go up, because there is another trainer. Another trainer? I, I completely forgot how many how many trainers. I was just like, oh yeah, that's, that's enough. Now this guy's going to have poison types, which means he's going to have a wheezing, of course. What's the odds that he has a muck? Of course, of course it says it on the side, and of course it says it on my notes. Slam him. Okay, well not... No, <laughs> I didn't mean to hit that. Uh, climb, climb. Climb, climb, if you get poisoned. If you get poisoned, climb, climb. Oh. Oh, do you, do you see what I did there? I guessed it. Oh, dude, I got a crit with the clamp. I got a crit with the clamp. Oh, my goodness. Yay. I love getting crits. Well, of course, I only get two. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, Muck. Uh, I think Moopy will be okay. Maybe? I think it'll be okay. I don't know. I want Moopy, wrap him. You can't wrap him, really? There you go. You wrapped him. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. You missed. He missed. You missed again. He hit. Oh no, now I can't wrap. Now oh, I have to slam. Oh no. There goes Moopy. Dang it. Uh, Clamp Clamp. Clamp Clamp, do you have an answer? Uh, Laser Beam. Ah, Poison. Ah, Pound. Laser Beam. Aurora Beam is like a hilarious sound. It's like... Mm. I'm gonna need a heal again. I'll have to... Actually, just before I heal, there's an item... Somewhere over here. One of these spaces. Finally found that. 
I was finicking around for like three minutes trying to find that. Murphy's dead. He's dead. No. Okay. Sideways. I missed. There you go. There's peepee up over there. <laughs> oh my goodness, these items. And now there's four more trainers left. Also, if you hold diagonally, you go slower. Interesting tidbit. Just kind of tells you that up and down take priority. But you still go slower. Because if you hold down, you go down. If you let go, you're going down fast. But if you hold down and left, don't go as fast. He's bushed. Bushed. What does that mean? You have a lot of Pokemon? Yup. <laughs> oh my god, so much coughing. Moopy, you can do it. You can do it, Moopy. I believe in you, Moopy. Okay, that was good. That was good, Moopy. Keep doing it, Moopy. Wheezing, oh, uh, clam clam. Clam clam, you can do it. You can do it, uh, Aurora Bean, yeah. Okay, why do, am I, like, almost killing them, but not quite? Every time. Actually, I'm just gonna keep clam clam for this whole battle because, seriously, it's coughings and wheezings. It's just like, I can't rest it. I think that did a lot less damage. Hey, Aurora Beam. Clam Clam! Coughing, uh... Oh gosh, so much coughing. Seriously, there have been a I think it may have been just the way I was doing things, but like either I'd have to fight a lot of kind of strongish trainers in the cycling or in not the cycling world. In the um Silphco Tower, or I'd have to fight a lot of trainers on these routes, and I'm just like may as well go down these routes, because you gotta do it eventually. That's the thing with these first games, it's just like, yeah, you kind of got your ordering a bit funky. Uh, there is one more item. It is... By the way, you have to be still in order to grab these items. You can't even be moving. That's the most annoying part. Once you get that, you're all set. Where are you? There you go. There's, no there's nothing. After that hill, you're pretty much free. Uh, now, if you head in here... There's not really a lot to do in Route 18, there's a new, like, you can get Fero 15%, so I guess if you want a Fero now is an okay time, but if you head upstairs, you'll see a dude, and the dude's like, I'm looking for a slow bar. I want to trade one for a Lickitung. This is the worst trade ever. It's worse than Jinx, it's worse than Farfetch'd, because Lickitung is useless, like ridiculously useless. Because, okay, so Lickitung, I may as well tell it off, Lickitung is a normal type Pokemon. It has very low stats in total, it doesn't evolve, it doesn't learn any good moves, and it's normal type, it's so vulnerable. And, like, the fact that it's weak now, and that it also doesn't evolve. Jinx and Farfetch may have been okay at the time, so I mean, I guess you had to trade a Spearow for a Farfetch, so it's a little bit like, why would you do that? Spearow is better. But this is like, comparatively terrible. Spearow is just really good at the time. It's just Farfetch isn't as good. But this is absolutely dreadful. I would never do this trade. Ever. Unless you're going for 100% because it's the only way to get Lickitung, I think. Oh my goodness, it's a dreadful trade. Absolutely terrible. Slam that. Slam that, Spiro. Spiro, oh no. 
I love how it's sort of like, oh, we changed Sparrow into Fero. Oh, of course the Fury attack. Slam it! Wow. It suddenly has a lot more health. And the worst part is that there's still two more trainers sitting here. Ugh. Come on, Moopy, you can do it, Moopy. I believe in you, Moopy. I believe in you, Moopy. You can do it. Oh, for a second I was just like, he's mirror moving rap. Ah. Yay, Moopy's level 33. Okay. Still got two more trainers, and yes, they are all bird keepers. In my turf. The why these are two dudes are sitting here. Uh, this is the guy with the four po Pokemon, okay. It's more Sphero! Like, more Sphero, seriously. Slam him! Seriously, you know, after all of this, we've had gym leaders that have had level 30 Pokemon. Gym and these guys. And by gym leaders, I mean one gym leader. Koga's kinda tough. But Erica, Erica sits at about level 30, so yeah. Here's a Fero, just surprise Fero. Oh my gosh, surprise Fero. So, in this part, I actually hoped that I would be done by the time that we got. I, I was hoping that we would have like 10 minutes left over so we could like go to the uh, Safari Zone in the future. Not really gonna happen this part, because there were a lot of trainers. But, but let's put this in perspective. It took me one part to get all of these trainers down from this end. It took me like several parts, like three or four, to get down the other way. And the last one's a Sparrow, because yeah. Sparrow is very weak. Goodbye, Sparrow. So there we go, darn! Uh, now we got one more trainer. He's in the grass. Good bro, how do you like my bird call? Uh, it would be good if it was like a Burkwa or something. A Sparrow. You have a Dodrio! Um, Slam? Drop back, yeah, please kill him. Goodbye, Moopy! Uh, who would be good for this? Speedy. Speed me! Thundershock! I love your speed- Oh, good on your speed V! Except to use growl. But I'm using a special attack, so it's okay. Okay, sure. I'll just roll with it. Good on your speed V! Seriously, Jolteon is one of my favorite first gens. I had to bug you, but... Okay, sure. Anyway, with that... We're arrived in Fuchsia again. We'll check it out next time, but for this time, for this part, I'm just gonna have to wait here. Sorry about that, but I promise we just cleared, like, it, I'm just head, going to go to my fly menu. You, you can hit the buttons on the side. We just cleared that and that all in one go. Well, not one go, in several, in several parts, and thank you guys for sticking around that, because look at, look at what's left. Like, from, from me to the bird icon, that's all that's left. And we, you know, self go and stuff, but, like, we have cleared almost, and I guess, I guess, um, past, uh, Victory Road, but, to be honest, Victory Road is kind of lengthy, but there's nothing really else on the way. It's only Victory Road, and then Lee. Uh, that being said, there is a bit of post-game content that I'm going to do. I'm going to go for the legendaries, but I'm going to do them all at once, just at the end of the game. Uh, mainly because I'm not going to use them on my team. My ending team is right here, and Bubba, and not Perda. So anyway, yeah. So, I guess with that, I'll see you guys next time. See you then. Boo-doo. 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 Bo